Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent B-9 reporting for duty. Agent B-9, we have been called here because certain valuable information has fallen into the hands of spies. I have investigated and found that plans in the safe of a large aeroplane factory bear evidence of having been disturbed. I found smudge fingerprints on the papers and marks showing that paper clips have been moved. Suspicion has fallen on one man, a young clerk. Here are all the known facts about him. He may lead you to the spy behind the plot. Keep me informed. Investigation proved that the young clerk under suspicion, Peter Petrusov, had rooms quite near the airplane factory. That afternoon, Agent B-9 succeeded in renting rooms in the same house for his assistant, Rita Drake. He helped Rita move, and while she held the attention of the owner of the house, he installed some mysterious equipment. Rita returned to her rooms to hear B-9's voice addressing her. Hello? Hello, Rita. One, two, three. One, two, three. Remain in your room. If the hallway is clear, tap lightly on your wall. The dictaphone is installed, Rita. Could you hear my voice clearly? Yes, B-9. Good. I was standing in the furthest corner of Petrusov's room. You'll be able to hear everything that is said in there. Now all we can do is wait. If you hear anything, call me at my rooms immediately. Two nights later, a man called on the young clerk. It was late as the two sat together and talked quietly. You have the papers? I've had them for two days. I thought you'd be here last night. I waited. It was impossible for me to come. Well, get them out. They're here, under my trunk. Don't you realize it is dangerous to keep papers in such a place? Suppose the trunk had been moved when the room was cleaned. Be more careful in the future. (laughs) But I'm not going to have to do any more. You said that if I got you these plans, you would see that the passport papers were issued. Let me have the papers. Mm-hmm. Yes, they seem to be in order. Plans and specifications for the bomber. You'll find everything in there. You have no trouble. They're not suspicious at the factory. No. Well, that is, I don't think they are, but if they should find out that I wasn't born here... You've been here all your life. How are they going to find out? Well, now, you will issue the passport. You promise. Not yet, my young friend. You have not finished. Well, you said that if I brought you these papers... I... I can't steal any more. You can't ask me to. I won't. Don't speak to me in that tone. Well, well, you told me if I copied the plans from the safe... The job is not yet finished. Sometime within the next week, a new type of suit plane is to go into production. I must also have the plans for that. It wasn't in the safe when I copied these. Of course not. It was in the engineering department. 
The completed plans are now in the safe. Get them for me tomorrow night. No, no, if I try again, they'll become suspicious. I said get them tomorrow night. Otherwise... Oh. All right. Good. You should be through within an hour or two after midnight. I'll be waiting for you here. Don't fail. A few minutes later, the man left the house. As soon as he was gone, Rita went out to telephone. She made one call and received no answer. Then she called a second number. Hello? K-7, is that you? This is K-7 speaking. K-7, I've just called B-9. He's not in his room. The young clerk, Peter Petrusov, has just turned the missing plans over to a spy who called on him. I wanted to follow the man when he left, but B-9 ordered me to remain here. Follow B-9's instructions. I will. There's more, K-7. The spy, I didn't hear his name, ordered Petrusov to open the safe again tomorrow night and get the plans for the new pursuit ships. He's going to meet the spy again in his room. We can arrest them both then. The next night, the offices of the airplane factory were dark, save for a single shaded light that burned behind a petition. A solitary figure worked rapidly. Agent B-9 and Rita watched him over a transom. He's copying the plans, B-9. And he's almost finished, Rita. It's 1 a.m. Come on, we've waited long enough. Oh, I hate to see you arrest him. He, he's so young. I'm sure he's not doing this because he wants to. Our job isn't always pleasant. Have your gun ready. We're going in. Don't attempt to move, Petrusov. You, you're the police. You're under arrest. Let me see those plans. You copied everything, haven't you? Who is the man who is paying you? I... I can't tell you. You'd better. You know the penalty of being a spy. Who's paying you? I'm not being paid. You're working as a patriot of the country you were born in? How did you find out? Oh, he's frightened, B-9. I'm sure there's some reason why he's doing this. If you'd tell us the truth, we might be able to help you. I... I don't want help. Not for myself. Certainly you're not protecting the man who called on you last night. No. No, he got me into this. Suppose you tell us the whole story. You'll have to sooner or later anyway. I, I can't tell you. If I do, they'll kill him. Who will they kill? My father. He's not in this country, and they can do anything they want to him. They'll put him in a concentration camp. I think I understand. Your father's in another country. Spies found that you work here, and they're forcing you to work with them by threatening him. Is that it? Yes. They promised that if I copied the plans for them, they'd see that a passport was issued so that my father could come here. And you thought they'd keep that promise? Don't you know they'd never let you go? They'd hold that threat over you as long as your father lived. I... I know that now. Come. Let's have your whole story. If I can, I'll help your father. I can promise you nothing. Well... Well, there isn't much to tell. This is my country. I love it. I, I don't want to become a spy. I came here when I was a baby, and my, my grandparents raised me. I went to school and college here. Then I got this job. Your father remained on the other side? Yes. He was in business while the country was free... But they've taken everything, and now they won't let him come here. Then they found out about me from my letters. And then a letter came to me. And he said if I would copy the plans, they'd give my father a passport and let him come and live with me. And I said I would, but I tricked them. What do you mean? I'm an engineer. I took a job as clerk here until there was an opening. I've copied the plans, but I've changed them. They're not accurate. So I thought I could trick them. I see. How near finished are you with those you're copying now? I'm through. I was just checking them back. Then put them in your pocket and come with us. Well, you... You're arresting me? Not yet. I'm taking you back to your rooms. You have an appointment with Letter at 2 a.m. Oh, yes. Yes, that's right. I I'd forgotten. You're going to keep that appointment. And we're going to keep it with you. A few minutes later, Peter Petrusov entered his rooms. He found Kurt Letter there waiting for him. Oh, you are here at last. Why are you late? It is after two o'clock. Well, it, it took me longer than I expected. You have the plans? Uh, yes, yes. What's the matter with you? You're nervous. Did anything happen? No, no, nothing happened. Here are the copies. 
You are sure these plans are accurate? Oh, yes. They'd better be. They're not. Your father will die. A ship sails tomorrow afternoon. All of the plans will go on it. As soon as they have been gone over thoroughly by our engineers, I'll let you know where you are to go from here and what your next job will be. But I'm not going to do any more. Now, you promise... <laughs> you will do exactly as I tell you. If you don't, <laughs> you know what will happen. Good night, my friend. I will be gone a month. When I return, I expect to find you here. <laughs> I'll give your father your best regard. Good night. Step back into the room, Letta. You're not selling tomorrow. I arrest you as a spy. Look out, B-9. He has a gun. And I'll use it. Step out of my way. You're not going to get away. I won't let you. You didn't know I had a gun in the drawer of my table, did you, Letter? I knew I'd kill you tonight. Agent B-9, I, I didn't tell you everything at the office. I only made those copies tonight because I knew Letter was coming for them. And I wasn't going to let him leave this room with them. Because, you see, this cable came this morning. Letter betrayed me. My father has been dead for several months. Special Agent B-9 reporting, case 7 Court letter. Famous international spy was the man responsible for the theft of the airplane plans. The plans have been recovered through the aid given me by Peter Petrusov, the man originally suspected. The spy letter is dead. He attempted to hold me and Miss Drake at the point of a gun while resisting arrest and was shot to death by Peter Petrusov. The case is closed. Thus, a young boy was cleared of suspicion. Special agents are often called upon to use their own judgment in determining who is innocent and who is guilty. Those who fight for right are seldom unjustly accused. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.